I feel so freaking great. Like, hey man, fall out my feet like this. Okay. Okay. Look, I ain't trying to be a problem. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl Shine Natalia, and I am finally back with another video. Like, where you been, sis? So today's video is gonna be a little different because recently I've just been feeling so blah like I don't know I've been feeling like a musty crusty dusty like I just don't understand like I cannot shake this for the past I want to say like two months I've just been feeling really like like poop on a stick so what do you do with poop on a stick you clean that sh up so that's what we're gonna do today so like the past month I've been going on like a few vacations I went to Atlanta twice I just got back from Nashville I feel like I went somewhere before that I just can't remember but like when you run around and you're doing stuff a lot it just kind of takes the life out of you you guys like I've literally been in bed and eating like I'm, I know I've gained at least 10 pounds like I've been I've been big chilling y'all so I just want to get back into the swing of things. It's September. I did my motivation board. I have it right here. I've been just trying to get back doing my yoga and my meditation. But I feel like above all of that, like I need to do some self-care stuff. I want to do a hair mask. I want to do a face mask because my skin's been breaking out. Like, I don't know if y'all can see. And it looks like I've been gaining weight in my face. But honestly, it's just really swollen like I don't understand like I did just wake up it is 7 in the morning but like I have a lot of um, bumps right here a lot there's some bumps right here I popped those yesterday so I think that this is really swollen so my lips are ugh, looking disgusting um, so yeah it's just a lot going on so today I'm going to transform myself back into a hot girl because I'm a not girl right now and this is just not doing it for me and with all that being said I am so fortunate to have companies still send me stuff even when I'm just like chilling like the past two months I've just been on standby but I appreciate all the companies that reach out to me and want to work with me and send me stuff I'm here for getting content out I just needed a little breather and some self care because or some self time personal time because your girl was going nuts but just just know we finna get back on it because your girl was on it for a little minute and we finna be right back on it for the next forever 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 okay but anyways before we get into the video there's some packages up here that i'm going to show you guys because and I have some over there too because I feel like I've been getting so much stuff sent to me and I haven't been showing anything because I don't I'm just losing my mind at this point that's all it is don't mind this stuff over here I have a blanket and it's like a towel a pillow and my shoe my shoe duster bags in that box in like a curtain some random miscellaneous stuff that was just in my room so yeah don't mind that um but anyways while african hey sent me a wig so we're gonna be putting this on in the video too like this video is gonna be lit we're just gonna have girl time boy time whatever you want to call it quality time i'm having quality time with my glam fam with my glizzy gang we're gonna get motivated we're gonna set some good goals we're gonna talk about good intentions for this month we're lifting the vibes like i want to start doing more videos like this because honestly like that's another reason why I kind of uh, slowed down with my videos because I felt like my content was getting too repetitive and I don't like that so let's just try to bond here people I'm trying to bond with you okay that was kind of weird <laughs> okay so while African was nice enough to send me a wig so this is just the pamphlet you know I got some of the influencers that you know have tried their wigs on there the front just has their little logo and the back just says want to be featured want to earn money from us so you know this is really cool wow african and a lot of other places um you know that i think sell hair a lot of hair places and a lot of like places like fashion nova do this 
but you can be featured on their channels. So if you're an aspiring, you know, makeup artist, hairstylist, um, influencer, whatever, they give you the opportunity and the chance to, you know, start off your career. So want to be featured on our channels, it tells, there's three steps, post photos, um, photo requests, clearly half body from head, head to waist, so they only want like a headshot. Y'all, excuse me, I just ate a banana. Um, they want like a headshot and then post good hair reviews, at least five minutes, if your hair is qu high quality. Or if your video is high quality, it will be featured on their site. But don't just go on here and give them fake um, hair reviews and stuff because that's not cute, sis. Keep that shit real. How to earn money from us. Join the Wild African Affiliate Program and make money online. You can earn 5% commission from each qualifying transaction that you refer to wildafrican.com from your blog, website, email, or any offline marketing. Wildafrican.com is absolutely free to join, so it is all profit to you. Check out more details on our site. So, yeah, just a free chance to go ahead and get some money, some coin there. Yeah. So, in the box comes with two stocking caps I like that they've been putting nude ones in here recently because usually they put the black ones or the netted ones this is their satin bag this is their satin bag and this is the wig I got it is the item number WCS 176 wig the length is 12 inches and the hair color is natural so yeah it looks like it's longer than 12 inches just from looking in the bag that was really easy to do and I forget I think I got body wave so it does come with a band and this is super cute you guys I didn't even realize that they even had bands in their stuff but it says wow African on it that's so cute I love that okay so it comes with the hairnet on it. This is a body wave wig, you guys. Look at how, ooh, I cannot wait to put this on. And you guys, the lace looks like it's already, yep, it's already, Um, the knots are already bleached. So I love that. It's super thick. And let me see what it smells like. The hair smells amazing. Oh my, Wow African always has really good smelling hair for some reason. Oh, and it comes with a band on the inside already. So there's two bands just in case you lose one. Um, the lace goes all the way around. Super high quality. Like, I'm, I might glue this down in the back because it's so thick back here. This looks amazing. Yeah. So I'm definitely um, going to try to install this today. I want to see what it looks like on. My hair is already fucked. Like, y'all, I might not even have to, I might do a glueless wig because this has the band in it. All I have to do is hook the clips. This is everything. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm going to do a glueless wig with this one. They done messed up, y'all. Yeah. Okay, let me take this off. Oop, 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 oop. And I, oop. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do a glueless wig because they do have this strap. Let me see if I can get it tight, tighter. Oh yeah, yeah, it's lit. It's very, very lit. Cause I'm I'm braiding my hair down and I'm wearing this as a glueless wig. Like y'all, y'all see how laid this is, and it's not even glued down. The only part that I'm gonna glue down is right here. All right, y'all. So like I was saying at the beginning, <clears throat> a lot of these packages I've already opened, so they're kind of like miscellaneous. So just bear with me. This package is from Juno and Co. And this is actually really cool. I wasn't expecting this. Um, 
Juno and Co. It says about Juno and Co. A community driven by a beauty brand that reinnovates the way we see beauty through everyday essential products that are simple to use, innovative, and affordable. We dedicate our work to creating unique, superior, and trending products that improve confidence and quality of life. Meet our co-founder. Mira Torres has made a passion for community and innovative design a full-fledged business. As first Ipsy employee, her first obsession with emerging beauty trends inspired her to create a direct yeah, to create a direct to customer line that designs and discovers innovative beauty products alongside community driven ideas. So this is her. That is so awesome that she started at Ipsy and then, you know, did her own thing. And it says Juno Co. Meet the Juno microfiber velvet sponge. So they actually sent me a velvet sponge. I'm gonna read to you about it before I show you. So just hear me out and I'm going to show you what the product looks like. So the Velvet Sponge, if you're looking for a more natural airbrush foundation finish, the Juno Microfiber Velvet Sponge will quick, quickly become your go-to beauty staple. Made with velvety soft microfiber bristles and slanted edge for controlled stippling, it provides buildable coverage fast. So microfiber equals airbrush finish. Experience ultra soft and antimicrobial material made with microsophic fibers that hold onto liquid and cream products providing the perfect blend using less product so it's basically like a beauty blender that uses less of your product because we all know that beauty blenders love to absorb your product it says use it wet wet it squeeze it stipple it perfect for liquid foundations concealers and contouring use it dry dip it tap it pat it perfect for bronzer or for powder bronzers blush and highlighters so you can go to thejuno.co and you can get this sponge. It's only $6, so off the rip, it's already cheaper than a beauty blender. It says follow us at the Juno Co. and on YouTube, they are Juno and Co. So this is what it looks like. I haven't opened this one yet, so we get to open this together. I got a blue one and it says everything pretty much that the pamphlet said on the back. Packaging is super cute. You can recycle it like that. Um, micro uh, sponge user guide. It has, this is so cute. So if you just don't read the pamphlet, it has the do's and don'ts um, on the back. Do run your sponge under warm water to loosen product. Create lather using Juno Co. Clean to act as a solid cleansing bar. Gently squeeze and rub until your product is removed. So I wonder if they sent me there are no rules y'all okay but yeah it just comes with a little guide Ooh. so I don't know if you guys can tell but it kind of looks like velour you know, like the Juicy Couture Velour sets. This is super duper cute. And it's super soft. Like, I'm excited to use it. First impressions. You know, it says you can use it dry. I definitely would use it dry to... If I had to, to drag my concealers or anything like that. But as far as patting anything dry into my skin with this I don't think it would blend well but we will tr try it out and see um yeah excited about that okay so everyone knows how much I love ColourPop and how much I love being a part of their PR um they sent me three new packages two of them that I'm going to show y'all I already did an unboxing for one of them so I might just use this um box right here for a tutorial because I already did an unboxing on my insta so I'm gonna unbox this for y'all you can use code 5 Cheyenne to save some money um, at when you place an order so this is their new collection and I'm assuming it's part of their first fall collection super cute packaging and when you open it it just says call it whatever I have used some of the items in here so I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown of what is in here so we have the Whatever Press Powder Palette is $18, the Stranger Than Diction BFF Bundle is $18, the Super Shock Blush, which is $8, and the Ultra Glossy Lip Glosses, which are $7. And let me tell you guys, I've already looked at these products. The blush, tried this one, loved it. Oh, they sent me so much stuff. The palette, loved it. 
we have, I don't, I don't even know what this is. Oh, this is really cool, I'll show y'all that. They sent me so many glosses, you guys. Ah! So I'm just gonna, you know, show you guys the stuff like this. Like, I'm not gonna get too much into it. I just wanna show y'all all the fun goodies they sent me. There's so much stuff. I'm gonna use these in the tutorial today. Um, yeah, so check me out on Insta because that's where I'm gonna do a tutorial with this stuff at. But I'm gonna go ahead, do my makeup, do my tutorial on Insta. The camera's about to die, so that's why I'm kind of rushing this. So check that out. I'll put my Insta down below. And once I'm done, I'm going to come back and we're going to put this wig on and we're going to do all that other fun stuff. So love you guys. See ya. What's good, Glizzy Gang? So as you can see, I'm taking my bubble mask from e.l.f. and we're just going to put this on our face. Um, this bubble mask is actually really cool to me. I like how it just came as a sheet mask and then you put it on and it turns into bubbles. For some reason, I thought it was just like... I don't know what I thought it was, but it's pretty cool that it, that it is a sheet mask so you don't have to worry about applying a product all over the place. It kind of just does it for you. But anyway, so I want to start doing more videos about like manifestation and organizing your goals, setting goals, how to even set goals because that's a hard thing to do. Like everybody thinks it's so easy to set a goal but it's really like a process you gotta set your goal how you're gonna get there write it down all of that manifest it all of that so if you guys want some more videos like that let me know in the comments i want to do some more encouraging and um inspiring videos so yeah just drop that down below sorry if i sound a little crazy y'all i literally just woke up and i was like let me go ahead and do this voiceover because i want this video to be out today for y'all so yeah as you can see with this wig from wow african i'm just brushing the hair back this is a 12 inch um i want to say it's brazilian body wave i have to look at the box again i'll definitely have all the details down below um but yeah so this is really um a nice wig i like how it came the hairline was already pre-plucked the knots were already bleached but i'm just going in and customizing it a little bit more i've been really trying to perfect plucking the wigs and it's a little harder than you know how everybody makes it seem but as you can see right here it looks pretty good um i feel like i'm getting better at making it look more natural um i work that wetting the hair before you pluck it really helps with that and yeah just putting it back in a ponytail also helps to see that clear line i said clear line but straight line i guess but yeah as you can see when you pluck the hairline or anything like that you're gonna take out a lot of hair and if you don't have a lot of hair by the time you're done you probably didn't pluck enough so even now i took the hair down to see how i liked it i didn't like it that much so i'm going back in and i'm plucking it and just making my final touches so don't be afraid to really get in there and pluck um right now i'm just doing the baby hairs the way i do the, my baby hairs on my wig is the same way i do it on my real hair i just kind of wet my hair and i brush along my hairline and whatever hairs pop out that's the hairs i'm gonna use so same concept for the wig we're using got to be glued to lay the edges because this is a glueless wig and i don't want to have to worry about relaying the edges got to be glued just kind of holds it in place and you can you know reapply it throughout the week if you need to but you don't really have to because it holds it really well so and all, the edges are wet on this i did wet them so yeah just taking my edge brush i'm going to swoop my edges the way i want them and the most important part about this y'all is like you don't have to cut the hair before you start to lay the edges if that makes sense so don't even worry about cutting any of the extra hair off for the edges just lay the hairs that's right there then cut off the excess hair if you need to but um this is just kind of a trick and then at, you're gonna see after i'm done you know laying the edges and all of that i'm gonna cut the lace when i cut the lace i cut around the edges instead of cutting underneath the edges or straight across the lace if that makes any sense but yeah it's kind of important that you get your edges how you want them because they're kind of going to be a guideline for when we're cutting the lace
all right y'all so after you get your edges proper and how you want them you're just gonna blow dry it a little bit i took the hair down i just wanted to see how it looked i liked it so i'm taking my t-pins out and i always start cutting in the center i'm using smaller scissors because i want a more accurate cut and i feel like the smaller the scissors the better um or the easier it is for me to get into smaller places so yeah and since i'm cutting around my edges it just really helped a lot so Cutting around the edges just honestly makes the application look more realistic. You can't see the lace underneath your um, edges. It doesn't look all, I don't know. You could just see right now, like it just looks more real, like a hairline. So um, it's just kind of like we cheated. I'm putting this wig cap on to try the wig on, but I didn't use it when I installed it because I didn't feel like um, cutting the band and all that, but. All right, so this is one of the most important parts for the glueless wig method is to have a wig band like the one I have. So if you don't have a strap like this on your wig, your lace is not going to lay flat. So see how my lace is just laying so flat. It's not because of the wig itself. It's because of that band. And the band that I have on that wig is adjustable. So you can adjust it if your head is a little bit bigger and you want it more loose. You could do that if it's a little bit smaller you could tighten it I really just like the band um, and the fact that it lays the lace down so well so I know I said this is a glueless method the only part that we are going to glue down are the edges so like those two flaps that flap and then the other side because it's kind of hard to you know lay those parts down and I, I want to say most people do still glue the edges down on their glueless wigs and if they don't I need to figure out their method because I really want to go fully glueless it just is so much easier y'all even with this wig even though I still have to glue the sides down this wig takes me maybe 10 minutes to put on if that what is good y'all I feel so freaking great like the intro of this video i felt crusty dusty poop on a stick now i feel like that girl like y'all this wig is everything and it's a glueless wig i don't have any of the lace glued down just the baby hairs have some got to be glue gel on it and i did glue the sides down just because i feel like it's necessary to glue these down these are like the anchors so the only thing glued down is this. My edges are laid and then my lace is not glued down. Um, I really love this wig. Like, it reminds me of my real hair. My real hair is exactly like this, y'all. Like, it's crazy. So, once it gets, gets to this length, um, I'll be excited. I really like this length. This is super cute. Definitely a wig. My It's going to be my go-to wig because it's not too long, not too short. Um, perfect texture. I just love it in this makeup everything I'll save my story so you guys could watch it on my highlights but that really concludes today's video I had so much fun putting this wig on I really love the glueless wig method so I'm gonna try to start doing those more often because it just saves time uh, money freaking um, aggravation irritation because y'all know how it is putting on a lace wig so the only thing you got to do with this is just really pluck and you know style it and all that which is still kind of tricky but once you get into the swing of it nope it's not a problem um i'm gonna be uploading a new brow tutorial because i found a new brow method that i really like and i'm just obsessed with everything um glad that i got to do my face mask take care of my skin all of that my nails are done i got my feet done all i really need to do is shave and clean off my bed and then your girl is back in full swing so um this will be one of the videos that i am going to post this week i want to try to at least commit to four um uploads a month on youtube i know before i was doing like 12 a month i was doing three each week so three six nine twelve twelve videos a month but I want to commit to at least four. I have a lot going on. Y'all are going to be seeing and hearing about a lot of the stuff that I have going on. I'm really grateful. That's all I can say right now. Um, and I'm just so excited. i kind of been low key, but best believe it's for my best interest and for y'all's best interest. So I love you so much and thank you so much for rocking with me. You guys are the best. It's your girl, Shia Talia. We slayed today. 
I love you, Glizzy Gang. Thanks for rocking with me. Your girl is out.